thing. Many people are using Spokane's warming center, but some aren't willing to go. I would rather die than leave my family and my friends behind. You don't leave your family behind. Tonight, more than 70 people are still at Camp Hope, the tent city at 2nd and Ray. Temperatures tonight, 4 degrees. Rania Kaur is live at the convention center, and that's open for people. Rania, why are those at Camp Hope refusing to get out of this cold? Nia, there's space for pets. They're even expanding space right now. There's space for your belongings. But the people I spoke to at Camp Hope say those things don't matter. When picking between the bitter cold or going to the warming center, leaving people behind, for Helen Klemp, it's an easy choice. I thought about going, but when it came down to it, I don't want anybody that I care about to be out here alone. I'm tired of them being alone. Blankets, sterno, and a broken heater are all she has keeping her warm through the night. I would rather die than leave my family and my friends behind. For her, Camp Hope has turned into family. So I've been alone my whole life. I'm a foster kid. And I'm tired of being alone. So I made everybody my family. Just as it's turned into family for Brittany Zuniga. And so I don't really feel like being crowded with a whole bunch of people and... I mean, I can't, we kind of got a camp here of, of family. She's also here as part of the protest. It is nice to have a place where we're not having to uproot. And as cold as it is, um, it, it's just our protest to be like, you know, we live here. We're human too. We want a place to be. At the warming center, Tammy is trying to keep her family together and out of the cold. Yes, it's too darn cold. It will kill my dog, especially we were sleeping in the truck which gets too cold. With food, warm blankets, mats, some people from Camp Hope are here. I'm proud of them. They did something that makes their life easier. I won't do it. There is transportation here. Even Spokane Fire told me they stopped by Camp Hope to provide bus passes for people to come here. In downtown Spokane tonight, I'm Rania Kaur, 4 News Now.